this lady yesterday comes up, Diane, shows us a picture of this Jeep. Decided, let's get some pictures of that with Thrash behind it. We borrowed Thrash back from its owner and did a photo shoot this morning. Came out early to the beach, enjoying the kites. They're already up. It's a really nice morning out here on Carolina Beach. Welcome, friends. Glad you're here. Probably tastes like nylon. Dude. And I, I wanted, wouldn't I suggest wanted to, it. I wanted to get Well, I would go fly a kite if there was wind, but there's not much wind. So bubbles are happening right now. Well. A lot of you know my friend Kenny back here, KB Kites, you probably heard of him, you know who he is. But he has started a website called Flow Shades, where he sells these Flow Shades. This is the original Flow Shade. Martin Blaze made this one, not Flow Shades, but this is where the idea came from. It's a nice, nice old piece here. Still looks pretty new. All of this, Dre, I don't know if I told you, on mine. Mine's, all this is completely clear up here. Huh? I really like that, it's cool. Wrapping up the last day of the Cape Fear Kite Festival here at Carolina Beach. This was awesome. This kite festival is one of the best kite festivals that I've been to. I've been to a lot. It's, this year at least, is bigger than Whiskiff. There was way more kites in the air than any, any kite festival that I've been to. Whiskiff was awesome. If you haven't been to that, definitely go out to Washington State International Kite Festival. But this, if you're on the East Coast, there's other big festivals too. This is an awesome festival. To, to be a part of. Lots of people out here, lots of kites in the air, lots of new friends. It was great. Thanks for joining me today, friends, here at Carolina Beach. I appreciate your company. I really do. I'll see you in the next video, and happy flying.